I'm Andrew Kane, also Kane the Mediocre and I'm Ryan. on the internet. And you're Ryan. Ryan. Okay. McNumbers. McNumbers. You're, you're out of the frame. I. Okay. So what? What are we? What is this toy? Weapon. Uh, it's called the ESLT. It's a extension spring latex tubing gun. Um, this one just uses an extension spring, but the idea is you can replace it with the latex tubing if that's what you prefer. Okay. And all these parts are, except for the pipe, everything's pretty much 3D printed, right? Yeah, yeah there's a few exceptions. Obviously the spring's not 3D printed. We've got some O-rings that are not 3D printed. Uh, this stock plate is not 3D printed. But, you know, anything that has a complicated, even remotely complicated shape uh, that we can't just buy is 3D printed. Okay. And the uh, maximum, if you wanted to print this at home, you're probably looking at like an 8x8. Yeah, uh, right. eight by eight. You could probably do six by six. Probably. Uh, the trickiest thing is these tall prints. Okay. They're, that's about a little over five. Really, this long tall. print right here. Yeah, that's an issue too with warping. But just tall prints are tricky because you have to have very good layer adhesion in order to get it to be strong enough that you're not just going to crack off the handle. Yeah. Um, and the loading here, you have. All right. So this is actually. Let's start. This is called a hopper, or it's some. I mean, this is just a PVC Y, but the mechanism is called a hopper. And every time uh, a dart falls down here, a uh, poof of air comes by, blasts it out. The next dart falls in, and so we just have. This is. Uh, it's clear PVC, but it's just PVC pipe, at standard size. And when you put this guy in this little gasket thing here, mm -hmm. it just pops right down, and then you. And these things bounce, right? They yeah, bounce quite they a bounce. bit. What did I do? I don't know what you did. This fire. What did I do? Like yeah, what did you do? I don't know. You must be shooting a video. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we no know it's break. working. Okay, so we have a continuity error, and you have a hopper here. <laughs> and uh, every time you push one in, there's a little rubber gasket here that holds that in place and seals the yeah, tube. Yeah, I think it's more accurate. Uh, the rubber doesn't seal the tube. The dart actually seals in the tube. What we have is we have two rubber flaps pointing down like a V. And so when you push them through, it'll go through. When it goes back, it'll get stuck. And even though the two flaps, they, the flaps would let air through, uh, there's just a uh, section in there that just fits the size of the dart. And so that last dart you put in uh, makes the seal. So this dart that fell down, that's not what I just put in there. That's the one I put in there uh, okay. a few minutes ago. And what are the darts made out of? You got the silicone tip there. Yes, and uh, the body is a polyethylene foam backer rod. Uh, oh. It, yeah. 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 It's normally used for uh, caulk, caulk, caulk saving. Yeah. Basically, yeah, if you have a gap that's too big for caulk, you can stuff the foam in and then caulk over it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just prime it. Are you kidding me? Of course it's got to be on video. Whoa! That one, they really do bounce. Nice. That's <laughs> stuck. Oh man, I'm out. No, you're out of ammo. Oh. I'm out. No, I'm not. Wait. Yeah, the last one doesn't oh. count. And in fact, that one may not shoot because you pushed it down from the top where it needs well, to be. Well, no, there's one in there. Oh, there is so, one yeah. in there? So, yeah. Okay, so then you should be stuck. Good. Nice! 